Are you looking for a way to showcase your skills and stand out from the crowd? Today we're building an AI-powered resume reviewer in just 15 minutes. It's an awesome project to highlight in your portfolio. That's a great way to demonstrate what you can do, build a functional AI app. And in just 15 minutes you can have this bot that we have, this tech resume review bot, that we are going to be hosting on GitHub pages for free. As you can see, you can put your name at the bottom here, they will know that it's really yours. So this is a tech resume bot that I named it. How can I help you with your job search? You can interact with it, you can click on questions, you can write your own questions, you can upload some resumes for them to, uh, for it to have it examined. All in 15 minutes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to create a folder and we're going to call it, for example, Tech Resume Reviewer. We're going to go inside and then open it here with cursor. Cursor is the new VS code. First file you need is going to be an index.html. Let's write it here, index.html, and there we have one. You can see it. Let's zoom in a little bit for you to see better. VS Code has a useful shortcut. Hit exclamation point and tab, and you have a boilerplate here. So we have a head portion here and a body portion here. So inside of the body, let's put an H2, and let's call it uh, Tech Re Resume Reviewer. And okay, let's accept this. Now let's serve it. You can have an option to serve it in VS Code. I'm going to use Live Server. Let's go. There we have it. Tech Resume Reviewer here. And it's not very nice, but it exists. And we're now serving it locally. Let's make it nicer by asking ChatGPT. I wrote this that you can use. I am going to put an iframe of a bot inside a static HTML file. Can you write me the boilerplate for this HTML and CSS? Make it really a beautiful UI while keeping the CSS not too long. And ChatGPT comes back with the boilerplate HTML file here. So we see there's a div with a class of container, one with chatbox, chatbox title. Then we have an iframe here. And then some CSS styling here for each of these elements. So that's pretty good. Let's use these things. I'm going to copy, go to my HTML, replace everything. And we're going to need this styles.css file. I suggest you control click on it. This way you can create it without making a spelling mistake. And we are going to copy this CSS and paste it here. Now, if you go back to your tab, you should see the new version. Let's reload. Oh, not bad at all. So we're going to have this bot here in the middle. I think it's very nice already. Maybe we could make a few improvements. So instead of this chat with us, we could put a title. And instead of uh, this very narrow strip, I think this container could be a little bit wider. So what is the CSS for this container? I don't see it. Oh, interesting. So let's go with, yeah, chat with us. Where is it? We have chat bot. Let's call it tech resume reviewer. And maybe in the title here, the title is what you're going to see when you hover the tab here, chatbot. We're going to put the same thing, tech resume reviewer. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's so narrow, so let's make it a little bit wider. I think that uh, with the container with 100% max width 360, yeah, that's a bit narrow. Let's put it to 700. Now, yeah, that's way better. I like it better this way. Great, so now we already have something that's very nice, and maybe we could add a little footer. This way people can see that it's us. So inside of the index.hl inside, yeah, just under the body, right here, maybe we could put a div which says uh, this was made, or let's say made by, and you can put your name. So for example, yeah, Benoit Mregen, which is me. And let's make this a link to my LinkedIn. Yeah, great. Uh, oh yeah, let's put my name here, Benoit Mregen here. I'm going to remove this and GitHub. Yeah, instead of my GitHub, I'm going to put my LinkedIn. There we go. Now, if I go here, I see made by Benoît Regen here. Maybe we could make this div a bit higher this way. It stays inside the container. There it is. Okay, that's not bad. Now let's the next step is going to be to create our own bot, the own AI itself. For that, I suggest you go to pmfm.ai, very good website, where you can create your own bot for free. Let's log in. 
And here you can create your own app. Let's go here, create app. You can choose any model you want, OpenAI, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Mistral. If you don't know which one to pick, just pick blank. It's going to use all AI models and you can adjust later. So here's a model. The first thing we're going to need to do is to upload an image. So I have a, a job bot logo. There we go. Now I had to put this little bot, this little um, picture here. The app display name here. So what, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it tech resume reviewer bot. The description here is uh, I can help you with your job search. Then we have a conversation starter here. We're just going to, I'm just doing the UI for the moment. I think the conversation starter is going to be here. So for example, how can you help me? Or let's see. And can you review my CV, for example? So this is what it's going to look like before we embed it on our web page. Now we need to train or to give instructions to this bot. So as we can see, this bot currently is going to be using GPT-4, but if you want to use any other model, it's also fine. So the way it works is you have to give it a prompt. And for example, you are a bot called Joke AI whose job is to blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do is I actually have a text here that I have generated with ChatGPT that I'm going to paste here. So these are the instructions we're giving to our bot. You are a bot that helps users improve their CVs so they can apply for tech jobs. The CV should be formal, professional. We want ATS friendly format. Application tracking software. This is what recruiters use to scan your CV. So use front friendly, use keyword optimization. For work experience, try to quantify achievements, try to put 10% or develop the web application. For skills, include technical skills, education, projects, LinkedIn opt optimization if accessible. If the user provides their LinkedIn profile URL, uh, it, it's going to look at our LinkedIn. It can look at the cover letter. So we're going to give all of these instructions. And I think we're good. Uh, let's say we want to make it look vertical or horizontal. Yeah, we have many different ways to do it. Anyway, I think all of this is fine. I think uh, you don't need more. You don't need to give more. Let's just create our app here. Go. Oops, it says, please fill out all the required information. So we're probably missing some information. Oh yeah, uh, it's the AI name. Let's call it Tech Resume Reviewer. And now it should be fine. Let's create the app. Now it's creating the AI app. And there we have it, successfully created the AI app. Congratulations, the app was successfully created. So it's not public yet. Uh, we still have to launch the app first. So, but you can see it here. So you can test it here. If you just hit test, it's going to open a web page where you can talk with the bot. So this is the bot that you have just created. So you can say hi, and it's going to reply to you using GPT-4. But as you can see, we're not on our web page. This is the web page of PMFM, and we want to make it our own. So let's close this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, oh, I think, yeah, we first need to launch it. Are you sure? Yes, we're going to launch it and make it live. Great. Now, if you click it here, you should be able yeah, to access it. And what we're interested in is embed. So embed is going just to create one iframe, one HTML tag that you just need to paste in your HTML file. So you can have it either with login or without login, full screen without login. So yeah, we don't care about that. I'm just going to take the without login functionality. I'm going to take this one, go back to my, yep, uh, let's go back to our iframe here. Let's replace this one with ours. So this is what I just pasted. So this is the, our iframe with the source width, height. Oh, we, all, we also have a height. We might have a height conflict. Okay, let's see what this creates. Okay, great. It seems that we have something. Yeah, we do indeed have a, a height conflict. So maybe let's uh, remove the height in the CSS. 
let's go control F, look for height. Yeah, the chat box, we have 500. So yeah, let's just remove that. Okay, yeah, that's way better. And now we have created our website with a bot here that you can talk with. Hi, hello, who are you? And it replies to you. So that's excellent. The last step is going to make this uh, available online because currently we're only serving it locally, but we want to make it accessible for any employer to see. We can do this for free on github.com. And we're going to hit a new button here. We're going to create a new repo. We're going to call it tech reviewer, uh, let's say uh, tech CV reviewer bot. This bot allows you to review your CV for tech jobs. Uh, are we going to add a readme file? Not for the moment. Let's just create the repo. Oh, owner is going to be me. Let's create it. And there we have it. I don't have Git installed yet and we don't need to. We can upload files manually. Here we're going to select upload an existing file. We're going to choose our files. Yeah, these two files, the index.html and the styles.css. Let's upload them by just a simple drag and drop. Commit changes, let's call it uh, initial upload or initial commit, technically. Let's commit. Excellent. So now our files are uploaded inside of GitHub, but they're not still being deployed. Uh, for this to work, I think you need to go, I think this is going to be inside of the settings. So the repo name, yeah, there it is, default branch. And we're going to go to GitHub pages. It's on the left here, pages, we found it. Pages, we are going to deploy from a branch. Yeah, uh, bra okay, there. We need to select which branch we're going to deploy. Uh, there's only one for the moment, which is called main. So it's going to be this one, save. So great, your GitHub Pages site is currently being built from the main branch. If you want to see how this is evolving, anything that is happening to the deployment, just go under Actions here, or you can also find the Actions here. So let's go into the Actions and see what's happening. So we can see our build and deployment that is currently being done. It's going to take a few seconds. So let's just wait. All right, seems that it's good. Fine, so let's see how we can access it now. Let's just click on this action and see what happened. Okay, we can see, so first it was build, then there was a report, and then it was deployed. And here we have the URL. Let's click on it. There. And now we have a publicly available URL. Anyone can connect to our web page and interact with our tech resume reviewer bot. This is an excellent thing that you can show your colleagues or your potential employers. In just 15 minutes, we were able to get an AI, deploy it, uh, train it, or give it prompt, embed it inside of our own personal static HTML and CSS files, and upload it to GitHub pages. Congratulations if you've made it so far. Now the next step, if we want to be really professional developers, instead of just embedding this bot, we're going to have to use an API in JavaScript. This is something we're going to do in the next course. So follow me if you like this, and we're going to see how to take it a step further next time. Take care.